Hey, what's going on you guys? This is your boy Jay Joyner here, the ultimate entrepreneur. And uh, today I am going to do a quick uh, tutorial on how to find and how to get your Builderall templates from Advertising Bait. Okay, so now they do offer um, the templates uh, in your responsive site section of your uh, Builderall platform. And now you can just simply come here uh, in your advertising bait platform. If you are an affiliate, um, by all means, uh, if you're not an affiliate, I'll put a link in the description uh, for you to become affiliate. Uh, but for all the affiliates who would like to use uh, the Builderall platform, uh, to be able to have all of these landing pages or these opt-in pages, here's how you do it, okay? First thing is you're gonna have to just basically copy and paste uh, this here, send them an email and let them know that you would like all of the funnels uh, that they provide or all of the opt-in pages that they provide uh, pertaining to whatever niche that, you know, that they have. But I just, like I said, I just asked for all of them. And then after that, it usually, I think it might've took them a day. And then they gave me one and they, and it, the email just said it was added. But when I went uh, to my uh, Builderall platform here, okay, and I'll go here, it was very, very hard to find. So once they do send you that email, it's very simple to find them. Um, all you have to do is go into your drag and drop responsive builder and then just go into my responsive sites and then they're going to be automatically added into your my responsive sites automatically so that was a good thing they actually sent me an email uh, stating that it was here and then i went into new responsive sites like it was you know a part of builderall and it really wasn't so that kind of confused me but right now uh, all you have to do is just go into your uh, my responsive sites and it'll be in there just like you built them yourself. All right, here's the thing though, you guys, uh, they aren't automatically uh, sent to advertising bait um, as a lead, so uh, advertising bait can just take care of it after that, which is actually a good and bad thing because it, it's a good thing because you get to keep the lead. It's a bad thing you have to do the manual labor and come over here and put in their first name and email address and then send it out to advertising bait um, manually, okay? Um, one other thing is also, and I don't know if I'm gonna change this or not, uh, on, on the platform here, I'll go to one and I opened it up, it asks for their phone number. Now you know in the lead capture business, uh, the less information you can get from a client, the better. Uh, plus, coming back over here to Advertising Bait, they don't need the phone number. Um, you can keep it in there or not. I think I am going to uh, eliminate the phone number aspect of it. Um, so, uh, you know, I'll just ask for the email and a password, more or less the phone number. And it's real simple to do to take that out. Um, as far as, uh, taking out the phone number, uh, you would definitely have to go to, let's see, let's see here, edit elements. And then you could just go here. All right. So I don't think they're, they're, they're not allowing you to take it out here. All right. You can just rearrange the elements, uh, there. So this would be a, actually a form. And since it's, it's, um, it's a simple email, uh, you know, form or whatever have you here. I don't even think it's attached to, even if you go to configure it and then mailing boss, it's not really attached to any list or anything like that, but let's just attach it to the, um, advertising bait 23 list. Yeah. Once again, it's still going to keep it there. So if you go into your mailing boss, and then you find the advertising bait 23 list. Okay, we'll just go into list, go up here to the top and to the list, and you'll find the, the 23 list, which is gonna be kind of crazy to find here. Let's see here. 
Oh, it's actually right at the top. So that's good, right? So then I would want to go down here and then I would want to do, let's see, advanced. Okay, not advanced. Let's see, notifications, subscribe to, unsubscribe, subscribe to, uh, subscriber actions, company details. Um, all this information too, you're gonna want to uh, input in. So this is a good uh, part to come to. Uh, you're gonna wanna, you know, go ahead and uh, change this information uh, because they haven't uh, changed in anything in order for your emails uh, to come through, uh, not in spam. All right, so advanced number opt-in. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so initially we can go here up here to quick links and custom fields. All right, so just go to quick, go up to custom links, go to the list you, you want, right? Find the list, uh, custom fields. And once you click on custom fields, it's gonna give you all the fields that they have uh, open, all right? So, of course, you know, zero, would be one um, and first name. I mean, zero would be considered the first, uh, you know, opt-in field here or would be the first field. Um, and then one would be considered the second. Well, yeah, considered the second one. <laughs> I'm sorry, considered the second one. And then two would be considered uh, the third field. All right. But since we don't need the phone numbers anymore, we'll just go ahead and push remove, right? And then push okay, and then save changes. All right, there you have it. So now when we go back to here and we'll go ahead and configure uh, in mailing boss to list 23, now you see it makes its changes here. So then you would just initially, if you know that this here is for a, uh, let's, let's make this font a little bit bigger here. Okay, we're gonna go to button. All right. And we can make the button a little bigger. Let's confirm, let's go here to appearance. Okay, and then from there, we'll go to uh, style of button, okay? And then we can go down here to size, okay? So this is the font here, and then if you, you can blow the font up, but we wanna go to the subtitle font and we wanna blow that up a little too so we can be able to read that, okay? So, just that simple, we'll close that out, okay? Now, with this being said, this has, um, you know, get a free uh, three night vacation to Orlando or Las Vegas. Now, what I like to do here is that to make this simple, um, when you when you want to take your lead over to um, advertising bait, what you want to do is add another field here and name the field destination, okay? Because now they do have a choice of a destination. But right now, you know, it says, you know, Orlando or Las Vegas. So when you get this lead over in to si inside of Mailing Boss, you don't know where they want to go. So when it's time to go back over to advertising bait and you put, you know, what's destination, you don't really know and you're kind of guessing. So you want to give the the person opting in a chance to let you know exactly where they would like to go. All right. So that's real simple. Once again, we're going to go back into mailing boss to the list 23. Right. And then we're going to go ahead and add a text field. Okay. So. With adding a text field, this label, right, it pops up here, new text field. 
this label here, we're going to call this destination. All right. So I'll go ahead and just make that all caps. D E S T I N A T I O N. All right. Call that one destination. Uh, tag will be the same. Uh, destination. Okay. And then we'll do this one. Uh, All right, and it is required. We'll make it required. We'll make it visible. All right, so uh, in this order here, we want this one to be the last one in order. So we're gonna make this, okay, zero. Email will be first. Uh, we'll put the sort order here for one, and then we'll put this sort order here for two. All right. So now it's gonna be this one's first, this one's second, and then this one is third. The destination will be third, all right? Because that's basically all the information you would need to them, need for them. You're gonna save changes here. All right. And also I would change the name of this opt-in situation here to dentist. Okay, so this one is, um, you know, your healthy smile. So I know this here is advertising bait, but what I want to do is that I want to change the name of this list. All right, so since that is saved, I'm going to go here and then go to list. All right, and then I'm going to just edit the list. Okay, let's make sure we do this right. Uh, let's do, oh, no, not overview. I'm sorry, you guys. All right. All right, we're going to get this. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. All right, so I'm going to go to list here. And then I will go to update. All right, and then once I'm in update, I can rename this. Uh, list to dental visits or dentist visits. D E N T I S T dentist V I S. -T. All right. And then from here, uh, display name, uh, would be dental visits. Guess I'll name that uh, Healthy Smile. Sign up for a free offer. Teeth cleaning. How about that? All right. So we'll call this one uh, Teeth Cleaning. All right. T E E Teeth. All right. And description free. Vacation uh, for free vacation uh, for teeth cleaning. All right. Description. Get a free vacation. And then from there, we'll just go ahead and save changes. And once again, um, just remember you guys that, um, you know, you want to go in here and do everything else that you need to do as far as for your welcome, you know, uh, you know, you want to have a welcome email, you know, stating, you know, that, you know, welcome, you know, to whatever, 
uh, list that you added them to for whatever um, situation you added them to. You have to come in here and make sure that you do all this because this isn't going to be set for you guys inside of the list and you still do have to add them manually. But at least now when you add them and when someone fills this out, okay, so what I'll do is that since I, I saved it, let me not get off track, but when someone fills this out now, you'll have a destination for them. And uh, what we'll do is go here, configure, okay. And now this is called dentist visits. And then you have destination in there now. So it's real simple to do. This is a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do that. Now, once you go in and you get the lead, the actual lead itself now, now you know exactly where they're going. And then you can actually, um, you know, when you go back over here into advertising bait, you'll be able to put in their name, email address, and then know their destination uh, where they're going also too. So you guys, I'll go ahead and end this video. I hope this uh, was very helpful uh, for you guys. Uh, once again, uh, all you have to do is just go here, send out an email, let them know which uh, funnels that you want. If you want them all, just say, I want them all. And then from that point on, they will be sent to your uh, responsive builder, drag and drop responsive builder into your, my sites and my responsive uh, sites, you guys. Then after that, just go inside and then make sure that once you do find it, I would put destination there because they're giving you the, uh, you know, the choice of two different de destinations and it'll make it a little bit easier for when they opt into this dental list and know exactly where they're going. So, and, and then to go in and make sure that you change, um, everything that you would need to change inside of here to correspond with your list as far as, you know, uh, where you want, uh, the emails to go and things of that nature like that as far as um, contact goes. Now I see in here, just before I let you guys go, um, they don't have a welcome email. And then uh, he definitely has um, somebody from Digital Experts to um, for them to reply to and things of that nature like that. Um, you can keep that in there, no doubt, um, so that they can reply uh, to them you know, in regards to the trip and things of that nature. But um, it all depends on what you're going to do with the lead, you know, where you're going to send them after you get the lead. Uh, that's basically on you. But they're filling this out. They're going to fill this out. And then after that, you forward them to your opportunity of uh, what you have as far as for, you know, your dental, you know, have them sign up for their teeth cleaning and everything like that. Once they come in and get their teeth cleaned and everything, then you can send them uh, the free vacation. All right. All right. So you guys, on that note, this is your boy, Jay Joyner. I hope that was helpful. And uh, let's get it, baby. Holla back. Peace.